We have uh, several different graduated cylinders you'll use to measure volume in here this year. Uh, we have the 100 milliliter one and the 25 milliliter ones. These are probably the two most common. But in addition to that, these over here um, measure even more accurately. These are a, a 10 milliliter one and a skinny 25 milliliter one. And the thing is, you need to know the scale on each one. And don't forget you measure from the bottom of the curved water line or the meniscus. And the biggest mistake is not getting eye level. So I'm going to add some water. Hey guys, uh, this is the 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. And what I usually do when I get water or another liquid in there is I pour it from a beaker. And then I use the pipettes here to make small, small adjustments in um, the measurement. So what you're not going to be able to see in this is I'm going to pour the, the liquid. I'm just using blue water so it's easier to see. But uh, just pure water would work just fine. Probably should have used red but I'm going to use blue. So let's say I want to get about I think that sounds like we're someone's using the restroom. Um, uh, let's say I want to get about I have a couple of bubbles so I'm going to get those popped. Okay, Right now I have just about 30 milliliters in there. I might be a tad short of that bubbles out of the way. Uh, you can see right here that's the 30 line and the bottom of the meniscus is just slightly underneath of that actually. And the biggest mistake people make is not getting at eye level and not reading from the very bottom of the meniscus. I could probably even go a tad higher. Notice that the upper part of the water is actually above the 30 though. Okay so uh, we'll just that's about 30. So if I need to get 31, I'd go one more tick mark above there. By the way, I know I'm counting by ones on this scale because there's a difference of 10 divided by 10 tick marks means a scale of one, okay? So that'd be about 30 milliliters. Now, that's the 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. The 25 milliliter graduated cylinder, turn it sideways so you can see it, this is probably the most common one that we use, okay? So notice the scale on here is different. I'm starting at 10 and going up to 15. There are 10, and by the way, the 10 is the big line and the 15 is the big line here. There are 10 tick marks in between the 10 and the 15. So 10 divided by, I'm sorry, a difference of five divided by 10 is equal to halves or 0.5. So this is counting by 0.5s. And you'll notice they make the tick marks a little bigger here at the whole number, okay? So let me pour a little water in here. a little more than I wanted so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in here with a pipette and take some out and let's decide how much we want to get here how about we get let's say Mr. Settle asked you to get oh let's see here 10 11 12 13 14 okay I actually right now have not quite 14 I have it looks like about 13.5 you can see that it actually, the bottom of the meniscus is right here. That's where I'm reading from. Even though the water level comes up to that tick mark right here, I'm not reading from this one. I'm reading from the one below because that's the bottom of the meniscus. Okay. And then finally, the ones that we don't use quite as often in here are these two graduated cylinders. I think I have more of these right here that I'm showing. These actually go up to 25 but they're more accurate than the one I just showed you because instead of only having halves, this one's counting by, it looks like tenths. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. A nine and 11 is a difference of two divided by 10 tick marks here. I'd be counting by point twos, okay? But the more lines between here, typically the more accurate, okay? So if I pour in some liquid here, Again, this is the 25 milliliter one, but it's the more accurate, skinnier one. Okay, so let's see what we got right here. Okay, looks like here's my 11 mark. Okay, here's my 11.2, 11.4. I'm about 11.2, maybe slightly above that. Okay, so that's that one. And then the other scale, I'm not gonna bother to pour water in here. This is actually a 10 milliliter one. This is an incredibly accurate one. 
okay? And this one is accounting by 0.1. See a difference of one divided by 10 tick marks. And this would be our most accurate graduated cylinder that I've showed you so far. So key advice, read from the bottom of the meniscus, stay at eye level, and use the pipette to make adjustments 